end of the graph into Inverell. It's just who's got some legs left in that sprint. Up the uh, final climb we had uh, a group of four that sort of emerged uh, over the top and there were some pretty handy riders there. Aidan Tooby, he was, he, he's always really strong. Like he, uh, he did a heap of work. He was in that early break right at the start of the day and he was still just, you could tell he was really on some good legs. And then Matt Ross, we've raced him a fair bit in the NRS. He's also got a bit of a kick on him. So we had the four of us and it was just, it was cat and mouse, it was like a bit of a uh, you know, race on the track and geez it was close. The group was coming from behind, people were sprinting, balking, sprinting, so look I love that type of racing and I've, uh, I've lost the race a few times in that manner, so it was good to get it right. At the uh, top of the Gibraltar things did sort of get a bit tactical, we had Sam Chrome up the road and uh, coming here with the, uh, the ISO way, uh, sports team, Swiss Wellness, like, We've got a lot of good riders. Obviously, Sean's won it twice. Uh, Nate Elliott was second last year. Um, and we had uh, Pat Lane, who was defending champion. So we tried to use our numbers, and we were pretty on the, uh, you know, trying to get on the front foot. And uh, in the end, we, yeah, it paid off eventually. We eventually got a move going at the end there with three of us. Unfortunately, Sean sort of faded a bit, and it was just Pat Lane and myself. So, yeah, a big thank you to Pat Lane. He, um, he was having a few... Uh, few issues with his bike uh, so he sort of like basically set me up for it so big thanks to the team it's uh yeah it's, it's a great team to be part of and they all did really well so I got a, a lot to thank there.